Hello, in this video I'll try to fix real light problem on Volkswagen Sportsman. This is my first quite expensive newer car, it's 2014 years and the problem is already there. Anyway, when I push the brake for the first time after starting the motor, there come fault about rear left light. Yep, also the K battery is empty, but that's the story for next time. Let's check now where the problem is. It's daylight, so everything is fine, until I turn on the lights to manual. On the right side is ok, outer and inner bulb is glowing. But on the left side we can see that only inner bulb glow. So let's take out the light and search the problem. Turn off the engine and open the boot door. By the way, my lady drive this car 90% so don't ask about the mess. That's the light I want to get off. Inside of the boot find the door into padding where you get access to connector and screw which hold the light. Firstly unplug the connector, but to do that you'll need to unlock the red pin. Just pull out that red pin and then you got a cess to push the hook, and then just pull it out. Now we can unscrew that plastic screw. It's got handles, so we don't need any tool to take off the light. It's a bit tight to turn, because that screw got quite strong spring on it. So basically the light constantly pulling on its position. Now hold the light and pull it straight out, because light is also hooked to a fender and bumper. Seal is maybe sticked a bit to a body, but it must come out nicely. Now we need to unhook that 4 hooks. Ok, I got only 3 because I just look wrong kind of them and it broke. It help if you push white plastic a bit down to release the force. Ball base is like new if I compare it Fiat 1 I fixed it few years ago. This light got only 3 power line, also if there are 3 functions of light. Center one is negative or ground. One pin is positive for blinker and third pin is positive for position bulb. But that bulb get two functions, position light and stop light. Bulb is 21 watt and when position it to glow there come lower voltage so bulb don't glow with full power. And when we push the brake power of the third pin increase to full power and the bulb will glow it brighter as a brake light. Position bulb is broke but that's not the main problem. Real problem can be seen when we move the bulb. It's not seen so good, but it's clearly burning something in there on positive contact. Negative is like new. To see it closer I will remove positive contact. To do that we just need to remove that melted plastic and then carefully pull it out. But it's plugged here on the line. Contact here must be good, so it holds pretty hard. A bit of playing with screwdriver and it get it off sooner or later. Here are some obvious sign of bad contact, and also a bit of contact pin is missing on the spot where it pushed to a bulb wire. This steel part got two similar hooks, top one is just a hook for the bulb groove and it holds it on its position, lower, smaller one is for power distribution to bulb. Look like I forget to push rec button again when I clean entire part with rotary steel brush to remove all traces of burnt plastic. Now align the hook so it fit tight to align and get good contact. If you doubt in that spot it can be sold very easily, but I didn't see need. But what to do with burnt contact? I just hold it with tiny pliers and tilted it outward. And then increase the radius a bit. By doing that I make two things. The force of pushing to a bulb wire is bigger and I get healthy material in the spot where it touched to the bulb wire. Now just insert the part to its place and then push it back to positive line. Harder is to push, better contact will be. Before fix was clearly seen that the part of contact is missing, but now it looks same as negative one. Now I need to attach it to its place. I cut off the plastic, so I just drill a tiny hole and use a screw. Inserting new bulb is much harder than blinker one. That's mean that there is a good contact. When I make a test it works also if I'm moving the bulb. Or make a stress test. So I can assemble light back together and mount it to a car. When mounting just need to be careful that the hooks from bumper is into light groove. Then just tie the plastic screw and plug the connector. That's it. 
After I start the car there was no bulb fault anymore and also stoplight work like it must. I asked on service for that part, it cost about 30 euros, not that expensive, but I heard that it's a common problem on sports van mellows, so I had to buy same shit and support Valeo bad product. And also as I say, why buying new if it can be fixed? For entire fix with filming I didn't need more than an hour. So far it worked, but if the fail repeat, I will make solder fix like on Fiat Stilo. That fix is forever. You can see it on the link below. That's it for today. Thanks for watching, like, share and subscribe if you like and see you next time.